Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I am Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. Last time on Rambling with Rusty, Starfield, we traveled to the party city of Neon on Voli 2, Voli Alpha, excuse me, where we tracked down a shipjacker and acquired some information related to our investigation. We brought that information back here to the city of Aquila, capital of the Free Star Collective, before having a chat with the marshal, who has given us a couple of places to look for the involved parties. And so today on Ramblin' with Rusty, we're going to track down the first of those in the city or in the system of Sarakov. I believe that's how it's pronounced. So, without further ado, here we go. Ma'am, I'm just the courier. Got anything you need to offload? I understand. Trade that. authorities I'm always not blaming you directly. Just right here for you. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Yeah. Thanks for delivering critical supplies would be nice to hear once in a while. Yeah, well, maybe if you did it on time. Okay, so let's talk to the... I'm just here to keep the peace. You need medical help, I'm the last person you want to talk to. Well, Ben, I'm not here yeah? for medical help. Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yeah, what does well, now that'd mean? be telling, wouldn't it? If it ain't <laughs> anything bad, if that's what you're wondering. You just keep your mind on the task at hand. Yeah, well, then you know I'm, I'm having up. some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin, Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? I wish. She's twelve. <sighs> Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Oh, we're just going to get into trouble, well, all right? back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Yeah, we believe so. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. 
You can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Yeah, and just boy. between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to... Yeah, let's see what we got here. Security incidents. Report CL2330 underscore aught 14, Dr. Titus Cassidy. Uh, Dr. Cassidy claimed that a patient in the VIP wing became confrontational, threatened violence when he tried to administer medication. Ms. Catalina Rivera has calmed her down. She agreed to take the medication. Let's see, Nurse Armstead filed a report that a patient in the VIP area was found in an off limits area. Patient Catalina Rivera found to be inside a CERV shuttle and was asked to return to her room. The patient cooperated and apologized, explaining she had become lost. Probably not. Let's see, this is report CL 2033 underscore. Odd 13. Mm, let's see, in 2033, 012, patient filed a complaint, insisted on speaking to security about lack of personalized attention, symptoms were not being taken care of seriously. Uh, I informed the patient that's a medical matter. The patient said she was aware of that, but did not feel the medical staff were listening to her concerns. Hmm. Okay, wasted an hour of my day and it seems to calm her down. Let's see, recent messages from Armistead. Don't forget to put in that vacation eh, to somebody from Ari Miller. Let's cure your ship, brought in a slate for you. Right off. That's from Dr. Titus Cassidy. We have a few recent incidents of personal. Entering the VIP ring without authorization. Please respect the privacy of our guests. Do not enter without authorization. And from Armstead. Did you hear about the bank cash in Aquila? Just read about it in Newslate. I hope nobody was hurt. Okay. Station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governments. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Jesus. What brings you by? How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? I'll see what I can do. Apparently the uh, ranger got stuck in a corner and isn't moving. Uh, should probably report that as a bug. You need anything. Just I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Right as rain in no time. Huh. We don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier, huh? Yeah, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad, the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on.
If you're thinking okay. about going Give into medicine, minute, just, a just minute. be here. Really sure before you commit to it. Really sure. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for Amaya Cruz. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Off the top of my head, yeah. That being said, we don't usually have a lot of patients staying here at any one point in time. Most people can't afford it. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Well, we already figured out who it is, but let's see what additional use he's given us. Let's see, admin access, maintenance, no issues detected, maintenance not required, six days ago by A. Miller. Uh, resource monitor, uh, processors at 26%, active memory at 12, available storage 62%, no issues detected. Active processes. Disruptor Mark IV. Power allocation native. Memory guard native. File system native. Query Disruptor Mark IV. Running. Hi. Recommended this process be disabled immediately. Mainframe application. Installed by Rivera Catalina P. Patient VIP section. Okay, well, Miss Catalina Rivera. Is our girl. If you need assistance, please see Ari Miller at the desk. Yes, what do you want? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid we don't take walk-ins. If you want a room in our VIP wing, you'll need to make arrangements in advance. Hmm. I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Cole himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. There's no progress that bureaucracy can't ruin. Do you need your hearing check, deputy? We have a machine for that just down the hall. Yeah, I, I would really like to put a bullet in this guy's head. There, there's... Yeah. Gonna stand in the way of the law. I'm a busy man, so make it quick. Uh, I took an oath to do no harm. I won't be the cause of anyone suffering. Uh, I didn't realize. 
I can't be held responsible for everyone who might be in danger. I think I've heard enough. I've given you my answer, and I'm not changing my mind. Well, I failed that, so I guess we do this the hard way. Let's see, we got something in here. to the VIP area. It's not saying what I need to do. Okay, well, we just have to do it this way. stuff on my mind when you have the time. Need to make sure those samples get disposed of. Let's see what we got going on here. a body. Somebody has been a naughty, naughty person. Now why a doctor is carrying a rattler, I would really like to know. Sometimes I feel sorry for them. Well, sometimes. What in the world? Well, that's just a weird pattern. Obviously, it's supposed to be some kind of oil slick. Whoa! Hello. Let's see. Access mainframe install. Run disruptor. Executing. Disable patient terminal. Serve status one, dispatched ready. Serve two, connections set up, start up sequence, ready to sequence initiated, systems online, Sarkova. Uh, so she's headed off to Sarkova. Okay. Or 
Sergeant Reed immediately. The Rangers are on to us. They're going to find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. Hunker down somewhere. Safe. Your hideout is the old ass. Major Hull. Okay. Well, looks like we're off to Sarkova next. Track this gal down. Docking port. Oh, it says inaccessible. Okay, so we're not going to sneak in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, uh, okay. I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Just reappropriate those and see them redistributed to the people who need them. Really hope someone comes to take a look at me soon. I hate this delivery run. Can't ever get here fast enough. It's a grab drive. I literally can't get here any faster. If people would stop poking their noses into every unexplored biome in the galaxy, perhaps we'd have a little less work to do. Well, Welcome nice. to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, she finally decided to talk to me. Are you? Because I don't have any appointments scheduled. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care and sometimes require unorthodox or experimental treatments. We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself, but it doesn't leave room for much else. Whatever business you may be here for, I trust that you will conduct it quickly and do so without interfering with my staff or our operations. Yeah, gee, she's kind of a... I am, yes. I took over from Dr. Eswaran when he retired nine years ago. While the clinic does occasionally take on research projects that have their own chain of command, I am ultimately responsible for the entire facility. The clinic has occasionally been faced with unique situations that might be considered hazardous in other facilities, but no, nothing that could not be contained and dealt with. I'm afraid that information is confidential and restricted to our corporate partners funding the projects. <laughs> Certainly. Uh... There are hundreds, if not thousands, of new worlds that humanity has set foot on. While many don't host some sort of life, there are more than enough that do. Any one of those worlds could be inhabited by all manner of pathogens. Things we've never seen and have no idea how to treat. Someone has to try and stay ahead of what could be a very deadly curve. Here at the clinic, we do our best. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. The air filtration systems here are state of the art. We've been operating for years without an incident now. Well, and of course, at this hear. point, it likely wouldn't matter. If there were something in the air, you've already been exposed. Eh, well, okay. Would you now? Well, I suppose we could always use additional research specimens. The more data we have about what's out there in the settled systems, the faster we can diagnose novel illnesses. In theory, at least. 
I suppose we could consider you an independent contractor of sorts. Organic membranes provide excellent data for treating viruses. We could use some additional samples. Okay, well, collect membranes for Dr. Darvish, seven of them. Uh, okay, well. Take care. We'll do that, and right after. Okay. You doing all right, Comdrop? We're home. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Yeah. Let's uh, see what Sam Yeah, wants. sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. Well, it's a small ship. Uh, yeah, small ship. Well, that statement's going to keep me up at night, like everything, everything. Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. <laughs> uh, Lillian, she's an incredible woman, truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. Back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Mm. All right, there must be a story behind uh, why you stopped being a ranger. Uh, I'm meant to be on my own, exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one day... I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Not for a second. And she's right. Lillian is where she's meant to be. She always wants to fight the good fight. And the Rangers are lucky to have her. Mm. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. 
I told her what you told me. That Cora's just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Mm. Separation sounds like so much fun. Yeah, yeah. sorry I caused no, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. If I do that, y'all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Well, I'd like to know how the hell you made an interstellar call. But hey, whatever. Um, let's see, where we're oh, we're going to Sarkov. folks we're gonna call that an episode for today next time on rambling with rusty we will get into sarkov and hunt down maya in the meantime i'm rambling rusty elm have a good night and don't forget to stop and smell the roses